In this video, we're going to go over the Laravel code structure. So if I go ahead and bring up my application and I open up the files in my finder window, then I can see all of my folders that I currently have in here. And I will kind of just go over each of the files briefly. I'm not going to go over every single one. I, go, I will go over all the folders and then a few other files. So inside of the app folder is where all of our models, all of our controllers, and a lot of our service providers will live. And this is usually where we will be adding a good chunk of our code. Inside of the bootstrap folder is where uh, we bootstrap or start up Laravel. The config contains a lot of the configurations for our application, like a session configuration, authentication configuration, and a lot more. Inside of the database folder is where we will store all of our migrations and seeds. This is migrations is a way of version controlling our database, and we will go into this a little bit more in further detail in a future video. In the public folder is where a lot of our assets and our publicly visible files will go into. Inside of the resources folder is where our views will go. And our views are essentially the HTML and the main structure of the pages that our user will see. Inside of the storage directory, we will store our cache and our logs. In the test folder is where we will contain all of our PHP unit tests. So you want to fully test out your application to make sure all the functionality works correctly. Inside of the vendor folder is where we will store all of our third party packages, all of our composer packages. And the composer.json is where we define all the packages that we want to install inside of our vendor folder. And one file that I want to point out is this .env file. And if I open this up in Sublime Text, you can see that it has a lot of our environment configurations, including our database name, our database username. And then before ending this video, there is one more file inside of app HTTP. And this routes.php file is the file that we will store all of our routes for our application. And this is actually what we will be going over in the next video.